Hello and welcome to this short video on data entry forms. So I have this table here, EBA project tasks, that I'm just going to create an application directly on top of. Except for defaults. Now I'm just going to run the application. Log in. And if we have a look at the report here, you'll see there's a form associated with it. And for foreign key columns like the project and milestone, then it produces select lists. For four smaller fields, it creates a text item. Larger items, it creates a text area. Date columns, it provides a calendar. And for numeric values, you'll see that it's right justified. And if I enter in a non-numeric value, it will actually give me an error. But if I enter in a valid numeric value, then it will save it properly for me. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to go in and add a column to that table and show you just how easily you can modify the, the form page. So let me go home, go into the SQL workshop here and just go into the object browser, then my table. And I'm simply going to add a column called developer notes. Of type Vata 4000. And I'm just going to go back to my runtime environment, go back to my form page, because that's the first one I want to update. And all I'm going to do is just go and create a new page item. I'm going to label this as developer notes. You'll notice it changes the label for me. If I scroll down here to the source, then I'm going to say that it's in the same form region, which means it's associated with the same table. I can just select my column. It's already put it as VARTAR2. The only other thing I need to do is I need to change this to from a text field to a text area, and I can move it to wherever I like. So for example, I might want to put it up here under a sign E. So I'm going to save this page. While I'm at it, I'm just going to go back to the report page, and I'm just going to synchronize the columns. And if I have a look now, it's added that column for me. So I can run this page and you'll see my new column here. And if I go and edit the form page, here's my developer notes. And when I save this page, you'll see that it's actually saving those results. So thank you very much for watching this video and understanding just how little code it takes to build applications on top of database objects and then even be able to modify them and incorporate those modifications very easily.